Every year, the secret meet brings some of the world's most incredible cars to one place at the same time. Now the evening before the main event, we had just a short window to film a couple of cars on a closed track. But choosing our contenders, well that was a bit like going to a pick and mix stand and being told you can only have two sweets. Rain threatened to scupper our plans altogether and we didn't actually know what we'd be driving until we pulled into the pit lane about five minutes before go time. But I'd say everything worked out because we ended up with two of the ultimate topless hypercars of their eras. this thing is 20 years old this year. I mean, I can't quite believe I'm driving it. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're gonna have a parade around Donington to celebrate that anniversary. But right now, it's just me on my own out around Donington in my dream car. And even after all that time, there is nothing like it. Absolutely nothing. It's always eluded me. Now once before I nearly drove a Carrera GT, also from the Octane collection. Wait for it. <laughs> now I drove it around the car park to get used to that quite notorious clutch. And then it hammered down with rain, so I never got the chance to actually drive it. But here we are, the rain is just about holding off. It's pretty cold. And that's big gear. <laughs> But I was told I had to have the roof off for the full Carrera GT experience, so here we are. <laughs> mm. And taking centre stage right behind me is that famous 5.7 litre V10. It's so sharp, it's bam, the response from it. And the sound, the way it revs when you dip the clutch, the revs just go. And when you change gear, you've got to be so quick and get it right because the revs just fall off. But on the downshift, oh, it revs so quickly. <laughs> you haven't heard anything like that. Now, we have got an exhaust on this one that sounds like that. Absolutely unbelievable. Torque power, it's a smidge over 600, 612 I think it is. So compared to even entry level supercars today, yeah, it's down on power. But nothing today responds like that, sounds like that. It's all going through the rear wheels, through this manual box, which feels amazing and takes a little bit of getting used to, which is awesome. But it feels every bit as fast as I'd hope it would. It doesn't tear your face off like the latest turbocharged or hybrid cars, but I just think they're too fast. This is really fast, but you can enjoy it. Now, is it as scary as you'd think? It's pretty damn snappy when you really push it. But if you drive it sensibly, if you smooth with it, it's got bags of traction and you can feel everything it's doing. The hydraulic steering is just gorgeous. Maybe the best steering I've ever experienced. The brakes, well, they're carbon ceramics. And to say they're from 2003, they've got great feel. I feel like this is a car you just gel with more and more and more over time. You get faster and faster with it. I mean, what an experience going down through the craners in a CGT with the roof off, with a plane going over my head. Wow. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, I've met my hero and I don't want to give it back. I think that people have these things and don't drive them because of what they are and because the value is such a crime. Because it's, it's just what it's here for. 
absolutely sublime and I think that's all I need to say <laughs> if this is the pinnacle of 20 years ago I think 20 years ago is the pinnacle of cars for me it's just insane I will pass on to Jonty to talk about hypercar roadsters of today but yeah this is it for me this is my sort of ultimate car <laughs> Whereas Matt has chosen a 20 year old car from his favourite brand, I've decided to choose one that is very much up to date from my favourite brand, Ferrari. So that's why I'm in the new V12 SP3. Limited to just 599 units. This is one of the most special cars out at the minute. And what a place to drive it. The SCD secret meet. That's what this event is about. The best. Not just from the latest era, but also the oldest. So it's taken the six and a half litre V12 engine from the 812 and basically a chassis from the LaFerrari, but they've done away with all that hybrid technology. This is just pure internal combustion power. So we've got 830 brake horsepower on tap. And because there's less weight than in an 812 or the LaFerrari, it feels so light. Oh, it sounds so good. I've been lucky enough to drive a, a LaFerrari and I've got to say that you can tell how much lighter this thing is as we're coming down the straight. We're not allowed to give it the full beans unfortunately. This is somebody else's rather expensive toy. Obviously they've styled it on some of the 60s races like the 330p4 and 312p and then we've got a Ferrari V12 engine where it should be rear mid mounted. This is a seriously quick thing. I could easily get carried away with this. I don't want to get in trouble. The down changers, they sound totally different to either the LaFerrari or 812. They're just even more brutal once you get it in race mode. Now, this is the night before the actual secret meet. These are just two of the cars that we'll be seeing out on track tomorrow because tomorrow this track is going to be donned with some mental, mental toys. Some crazy cars from around the world that have come to this event at Donington Park. Oh, this is definitely one of those bucket list days. We've got Donington Park almost to myself, firing Matty P in his Carrera GT making that V10 noise. This is one of those days where me and Matt were certainly not going to have an argument about who's got the best car because they're both epic. Oh, we've got another car joining us now. To say that this is the um the German Roadster that I was actually allowed to drive today rather than the uh, seriously, seriously valuable one we've got driving alongside us. I can't say I'm disappointed. Look at that. CLK GTR Roadster. Just when I thought I'd got the most epic Roadster out on track, somebody goes and busts that one out. Now that is an SCD secret meet car. Just six roadsters in the world, and we've got one here, and it's actually been driven. Fair play to Mechatronic, they brought that car all the way from Germany, just to have it here and have it out on track. 
crazy. This is just something else, and I'm gonna have to go in soon, and I really don't wanna go in soon. <laughs> what a day. If you've got a supercar and you have not been to the secret meet before, you're missing out. Get yourself there. Well, that was truly surreal and admittedly quite scary. As soon as either of us dropped behind a little bit, we had zero visibility of the other and nothing but the colossal value of these things in our mind. But the chance to experience my all-time Halo car is one I will never forget. And the Carrera GT was absolutely everything I ever hoped it would be, especially with the unreal Chrysler exhaust. As for John T and the SP3, well he usually has to wait years to drive a hyper Ferrari, so it was super special for him as a Ferrari fanboy to be in the first handful of people to have driven one. But he says the Daytona is more than just a limited edition showpiece, it's a driver's car. Mid-engine V12, loads of power, and although it's got up-to-date tech in it, it's done away with hybrid systems and four-wheel drive, so it feels light and lively. He says it's totally different to something like an SF90. And both cars are all the better for being roadsters too, because it just heightens the sensation of having such special engines behind you. The Carrera GT and the Daytona are two massive ticks off the bucket list, and I think they were a very fitting way to celebrate the channel hitting 200,000 subscribers. So thanks to every single one of you, and if you have any shouts for more bucket list drives, let us know in the comments.